get the money, so I go get it. Hate means I do something right, so I'ma let them. What is going on, guys? It is Monday, and our first home game is tomorrow. Gonna be cool to open up the season here in South Bend. Hopefully there's a lot of fans that come out. And it's against Valpo, so local team, I guess you could say. After this game Tuesday, we head out to Louisville. I think we're busing there because it's not super far, so we're going to bus to Louisville for the weekend as we play our second ACC series. So obviously all the ACC series are huge, but that's pretty much the next week planned out. Finished up classes earlier today, going to head down to the field and throw for a little bit, and then we have lift later. Probably going to go to bed at a very decent hour tonight, get some extra sleep because we got back super late last night at about like 1, and then I had class this morning at like 9.25, so I woke up at like 8.15 so I could get breakfast and everything. But going to go to bed at a decent hour tonight and catch up on that sleep that I missed out on last night. What is up, vlog? We are walking to the field right now. We're with the What's boy. Up, vlog? With the boy. The field's right over there. So you guys can see. So huge game. First home game is going to be sick. Heading over there now. Game time's at 4. It's just, I think it's like 1.30 right now or something like that. So about to get some food, pre-game meal, probably take batting practice. And then it's game time. Yeah, I will see you guys at first pitch. The sixth ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish return to South Bend. Choke up on the bat, protect a little bit here, down 0-2. And he fists the ball into right center field. This will drop for a hit. Williams is being waved around. The throw to the plate is cut off, and Notre Dame has an early 1-0 lead. Penny rips this ball into left center. That's over the head of Ryan. Coatsy will score easily, and Penny into second with an RBI double. But Link Jarrett's really excited about some of the younger players, DM Jefferson being one of them. As he lines this ball into right field, that will drop for an RBI single. Really try to get Notre Dame's offense off balance. 0-1 oh, lifted deep into left field, way back, and Brooks Coetzee with a two-run homer to make it 6-0 Notre Dame. He's able to take third base pretty easily. 0-2 to Williams, lifted into left field. This will drop for a hit. Penny comes in to score, and it's 7-1 Irish. Now, now chasing six runs and a runner in scoring position. As Ziska drills this ball deep to left, down the line, and it's gone. A two-run homer for Jack Ziska, coming on as a pinch hitter, and it's 9-1 Irish. Drilled out into right field. Maka going back on it, and this will one-hop the wall. Myers is being waved home. He'll score easily, and it's an RBI double for Nick Jouer. One, two. Rounded sharply, and that is fair for a base hit. An RBI single for Gump. Make it two runs coming in for the Irish. It's 12-1. to Huge win for the boys today. Ended up winning 12 to 1. Hit really well, obviously. Put up another 10 plus run game. I think a majority of our games we've scored 10 plus runs. Obviously, that means the offense is producing very, very well. Pitching staff with another good day today as well. Only giving up one run. Doing well on both sides of the ball. Thursday, I think we're traveling after school. Got to do some homework and rest up for tomorrow. So, like I said, good win for the boys today. It is travel day tomorrow. Editing. By the time that video gets out, it'll already have been out for a week by the time this video is out. We are busing to Louisville. It's gonna be about a four hour bus ride. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do. Probably some homework. And then I'm also gonna, I think, really do some research about the NCAA tournament. I always try to take at least one bracket seriously and really put some time and effort into it. So we'll see how I can do on that. It's always a fun time of the year to kind of just watch the the big games. Notre Dame's actually playing today in the play-in game against Rutgers, so hopefully they come out victorious. I have to pack still, so a lot left to do still. Probably not going to finish editing this video by tonight. Gonna pack the bag here soon, take a little break from this, and make sure I have everything that I need for the weekend, and uh, 
prepare to go down there and win three games. Got into the hotel last night, had a little practice last night as well as y'all saw we were at the field. Had breakfast this morning, lunch is at 12.30, it's about 11 o'clock right now so I got about an hour and a half until that, scouting report is an hour later. So since I have a little bit of time before going to lunch, I figured now would be a good time to show you guys the gear that we bring with us. So first I'll start with the hats, we've got obviously the green, we have our blue and gold and then we have our blue and white. All three hats are really dope. Love those. Uh, good look, clean, and nothing too crazy. Next we've got our BP jackets. This is the navy one. We wear this with like anything that's not green because we have this one. Green BP jacket, little Irish on there. The blue one has the monogram. So next we have got our BP shirt. These are very interesting. Overall quality on this is good, super light, so if it's hot, then it's nothing too crazy to wear. And we normally wear the BP tops over that. Next, we literally just have like our compression stuff. I think I have long sleeve, short sleeve. This stuff is super comfortable. Under Armour does a great job with their products. Obviously travel with the sweatshirt as well. In case it's a little chilly, bring this and then wear this during the game, stay hot in the bullpen. Next, we've got shoes. These are like our travel shoes that we wear. We normally wear this with the travel uniform. Next, our turfs, super basic again, just blue and white. Good spikes on the bottom for grip to use on the turf. Next, we have our game cleats. These are also pretty basic, just blue and white. Metal spikes, we also got a pair of plastics. Pitcher's got the tough toe on it right there, as you guys can see. And lastly, we have these black cleats. Um, I think we wear these with like our creams and our grays. We literally just got these like a couple days ago. Um, these are also tough toed up as well. I don't know if I've showed you guys this, but these are the gloves that we get. Just basic A2000 stock gloves. Um, as you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of Wilson. Don't really have much to say about it. I am a huge Rawlings guy, but um, I guess it catches the ball and uh, does the job. So that's pretty much all the gear that we have besides like obviously we travel with like our shirts and shorts and stuff just for practice but you guys have already seen that stuff glad i could finally show you guys that stuff uh been wanting to for a while just never had the time and today we had a free hour at our hands so figured i would run through that stuff for you guys know you guys like to see the gear and stuff huge three games for us this weekend against louisville another acc series so crucial that we get out to a hot start today get off to a 1-0 lead and that'll set the tone for the rest of the weekend hit in the air into left center field usher is tracking it and usher is there louisville by a final score of 16 to 11, has defeated number six Notre Dame to open this three. Tough loss for us tonight. Ended up losing 16 to 11. They hit the ball pretty good. We also hit the ball pretty well too. Had a couple things that just didn't go our way. Yeah, that pretty much sums up the game. Play again tomorrow at one. Just wasn't our night tonight, I guess. Good thing there are two more games left and we can turn the tide. So I will see y'all in the morning, I guess. It is 10.30, about to head down for the scouting report. Had breakfast earlier this morning and looking to even the series up at one and one today. So huge game ahead of us. Game starts at one and I will see y'all at the field. Webster, Bianco, and the Cardinals win eight to one and they take this series. It's Sunday, so last game of the weekend. As you guys saw, ended up losing again last night. So huge game for us today. Need to win to at least take one game this weekend. Game time's at one. It's about 10 o'clock right now. Gonna have to go pack the bus with everything so we can head back right after the game. Like I said, huge game, need to win. I'll see y'all at the field. Got him, strike three. Michael Prosecchi. A one, two, three, ninth inning, and welcome to the top 25 and higher for this Louisville baseball team. Yeah, you don't, uh, the cards have been trying. As you guys uh, could tell, things did not go our way this weekend. 
Next game is Tuesday against Northwestern, so got to turn things around and then prepare for the home opening series against Virginia Tech this upcoming weekend. Pretty rough weekend for us. Yeah, but it's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, like this video, and uh, click the bell for notifications so you guys will not miss out when I post a new video. I guess this is the highs and lows of college baseball. Hopefully we experience more highs this year than lows because this feeling is not ideal. So that is that, and I will see you all Monday. Peace out, guys.